Take it easy, you're shaking the plaster loose. <laughs> you're not getting kicked out of school. Oh, that's great. How do you know? I've just been down and had a talk with the dean. Oh, what'd you do that for? Will huh? you listen? I told him why he got angry. He's a fair man. He said it isn't the first time he got half a peace sign flipped at him. <laughs> and? And considering your good record, he's willing to give you another chance. Uh, meaning what? Meaning you can kiss your troubles goodbye. Uh-huh, and what else I gotta kiss? <laughs> no, just pay for your share of the damage to the cafeteria and sign a statement of regret. Woo, yeah, that's all settled. <laughs> Wait, Weezy, you done great. Mwah. Lionel, I'm gonna give you a blank check to pay for your part of the damages. Uh-uh, Pop. What? Look, I'm not going down there and apologize for something I didn't do and pay for it on top of that. Why not? It's just a few lousy bucks and a signature. Who's gonna know the difference? I will. What's the matter with you? You think education grows on trees? Now you're gonna go back to that school and you're gonna get that diploma if it's the last thing I ever do. <laughs> Why don't we all just take it easy and talk this out? Now, if I may make a suggestion. Look, Uncle what you don't understand, so why don't you just stay out of this, please? Lionel, uh, I know you think I'm nothing but what you call an old Uncle Tom. Well, that's pretty close. But what you don't realize is that in my time, back where I come from, being a Tom was the only way to survive. Yeah, well, that's nice. See, but I'm not interested in ancient history right now. Lionel! Let me go. I used to spit off six like you before breakfast. So you just listen. All right. <laughs> If it hadn't been for us old Uncle Toms, you young bloods wouldn't be around here today. Oh, yeah. I remember the time when we Negro uh, had to... Uh, blacks. Well, look, Lionel, it took us a couple of hundred years to get from nigger to colored. And it took me 25 more years to get from colored to Negro. So you'll just have to forgive me if it takes me a little more time to get to black. The point I'm trying to make is, I agree with you, son. You what? You mean you want him to stay out of school? I didn't say that. I don't think he should sign an apology for something he didn't do. All right. But I do think you should go down and talk to the dean. Oh, I get it. So you don't want me to sign, but you do want me to crawl. No. I want you to go down there and fight to stay in that school. Except this time, use your brains instead of your hands and show that dean who's the better man. Yeah, you show him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that's easy to say, see, but when I'm talking to somebody who ain't listening, I get mad, and when I get mad, I start hollering. He takes after his father. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. When you're in the right, a little mouth goes a long way. Yeah, when you're in the right. <laughs> you really think it'll work, Uncle Ward? Sure it will. Listen to your Uncle Ward. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll give it a try. Uh, you gonna be here when I get back? Of course they will. The man just got here. He's hardly had a chance to visit with him. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll see you later. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, since I'm gonna be staying, I guess I'll take these bags back to my room. Look, I'll take care of that, sir. <laughs> What did he say? I think he said, sir. That's right. Your uncle's older than me. It's just a sign of respect. Don't you know nothing, Wheezy? 